Welcome to the, the channel, channel, guys. Today oh! is a crazy day. So, if you can't tell already, we have some stuff in the car because today is moving day. Yeah. We are moving to our new flat. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. George and I have felt very MIA, especially on the YouTube front lately. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, this just past like 2 weeks has been crazy. It's been, it's been insane. crazy, you guys. We got an apartment, lost it, got a new one, um, yeah. <laughs> bought a bunch of furniture. So if you don't know, and if you're new here to our channel, George and I met traveling four and a half years ago in Thailand. We were backpacking Southeast Asia and traveling nonstop, out of, living out of our backpacks, essentially. Yeah. Um, after we got back from our travels, we did a long distance for two years. Uh, yeah, it was a hot minute. And then we quit our jobs again to travel again. And since then, the pandemic unfortunately happened and we have been bouncing around from family member to family member. We yeah. lived with my grandma in San Diego at the was, start of the pandemic. That was during the pandemic, yeah. That was when it all kicked off, wasn't We lived it? with her for two and a half months. Yeah. And then George came back to the UK to live back with his parents. Yeah. My and visa ran out. His visa ran out. And then we got married. Yeah. And then we yeah. both moved back in with his parents in the interim until we could find a place to live. That's and true. today is a huge day. Yeah, we're we're moving in. We're, we're finally moving we're in. We're moving into our apartment, which is crazy because it's like it feels like it's been a long time coming, but do you know what? We've done it pretty quick since you got here. In yeah. like what, April? Yeah, so I got here in April. Yeah, it's it's now August. Months. So we managed to get this all done um, in a matter of months. So really proud of ourselves. Yeah. Even prouder that we officially have our own place. So <laughs> stay tuned for more videos because now we can have the space for ourselves. We can yeah. video a lot more. It's going to be fun. Super, super exciting. Anyways. Um, we got to go. We have an appointment with our... A state agent. agent to pick we up gotta, our keys. You gotta pick up our keys, our welcome pack. We gotta check the apartment, mm -hmm. make sure there's no Do nicks walk or dings. Through, and then and slowly start moving out and moving our things. So today we're gonna take you through. You will watch us this weekend kind of just unpack, unravel. Um, we should have an empty apartment tour, which would have already gotten out yeah. before this video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, definitely check it out. Go check that one out. And you can see a sneak sneak peek of our new apartment anyways we're gonna head out let's get going that's the intro to this vlog we hope you guys enjoy it and let's move in Woo. this is a sneak peek of all of the stuff that we have stocked up ready to be moved out of the house we've got a lot of stuff that's all of our clothes some bits over here these big boxes, stacks and stacks, and even more down here. <laughs> Ready to go. good tour of it now but if you again didn't see our empty uh, apartment tour you would have seen the whole thing fully empty but I'm just going to show you the front view entrance for now. So this is what you're working with. Here's George I'm trying to turn the fridge on. Um, very open floor plan as you guys can tell we have temporary blinds in right now because um, we need to go get better ones. <laughs> but and that's our mattress as well it's just been delivered um, but yeah we are gonna start moving stuff in slowly but surely this place is going to be super full super packed this is a little sneak peek for you um, but yeah move-in day commencing George sorting out what are you sorting out sweetheart uh, I don't know we need to get the fridge working yeah mm, okay we'll sort that out all right 
Anyways, time to move in. Okay, so I thought I would give you guys an update on the progress. So Nick and George built the bed already, the frame at least. I'm so happy with it. It is from Made um, and it's an oak frame. It's super pretty. These are just blow up mattresses for now because our real mattress is here and we're gonna have to set that up this evening. But I thought I would update you on. <laughs> So it's nearly 4.30 and we are still building away. A little update for you because everyone pretty much left, George's family and Nick um, left and so now it's just George and I, but we had a little bit of a dilemma with our couch, which we're a little bit bummed about. Do you reckon that kids guess? But guess, Nick and I, uh, guess what happened okay. by looking at it, says George. So there's our couch. Um, unfortunately, the cushion covers for the rest of the couch never made it, I guess. So, so we can't build it. We can't door. finish building it. We can't sit on it, which is so sad. And then we asked them to send us a new one, and they will, but not till next week because there was a back order. So we're a little bummed about that, but we're going to, you know, go with the flow. And now we're building our kitchen island right now. Yeah. Um, making good progress, and I'm gonna set up a little time lapse so you guys can watch us build it. Straight. <laughs> so we are building the island. It's going pretty well, and yeah, it looks it nice and tight. Good job. <laughs> Okay guys, we finished our island! <laughs> look how cool it is. It's so nice and our little stools look really nice with it. Finally finished! Oh, oh my god. We're just gonna so put it in its spot now. Yeah, we're just gonna do... But we're doing good, guys. Doing good. You guys, we have to get this on video because yeah. this is our first dinner ever! Oh, Aww, we've got... All this. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Some Taylor Swift and dinner. <laughs> so cute. Good morning, guys. Um, well, we are up early despite having a crazy day yesterday. We look a little rough. George is living like a king on the one part of the couch that we can actually sit on. But we didn't update you on the progress last night because we were honestly like in go, go, go mode. And after the day we had, we were just ready to just crank out more furniture. We couldn't stop. Um, I tried to organize the kitchen a bit, but it needs some more work. Today we're going to do a really big food shop in the morning. But George will show you what he built yesterday. Or I will show you because he's... he. You guys, how can I... How can you move someone who looks so tranquil and peaceful? Wait. He's in his white company robe, bougie AF, just sitting <laughs> with his oh, so nice coffee espresso. Um, I think you'll finish like, always in bed at 10. Yeah. Didn't finish building until like, 
So, do you want to show them or do you want me to show them? Oh, you can show them. Okay, this is what he built. So, he built our TV stand, which is really cool. It's from Whoa. Made. He says the bed. Yep, the bed. The sofa. He built the sofa the halfway. Then we both did the island. Yeah, and then the TV stand. And then the TV and the TV stand. Yeah. So. Really nice to have that finished. We are going to mount it on the wall up here. We are realizing that we have a lot of blank wall space, as you guys can tell, which will soon be filled. Soon, soon. Um, today, we're gonna try to tackle the guest bedroom and just get the desk, which is in one of these boxes, and the dresser built so that we can kind of just start putting some of this stuff away. Um, and then our bedroom, we didn't really make the bed yet, but a good sleep. We need to get a mattress topper um, just because George likes it. It's a bit of a mess still, but this is why we like vlogging because we can look back in like a few months to see the progress. So this is just the beginning stages. <laughs> really excited. Sorry for our tired faces. We're going to go do a food shop at Tesco and then crack on today because it's our last day of a weekend to be able to make progress before we have to go back to work. So, that's the plan. I look horrible. <laughs> you ready for today? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, let's go. <laughs> so, it's day two. Like we said, we did our food shop. I will show you our stocked up fridge, but first we are getting a little bit of bubbly to celebrate our move. Um, we are just over the moon, so excited, so happy. George is on to the next building, our dresser now. Whoa. How's it coming along, hun? It's getting there. I need some champagne. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of bubbly and I'll show you guys what we did in the fridge. So, we've now got a pretty well-stocked fridge full of yeah. beverages and fruits and salads. And then we have our cabinets here filled with some food. So we no longer have an empty pantry, but now... Have we shown in the island? Uh, yeah, I think I did, you guys. This is the finished result. This is our island. We really like it. it looks I'm nice. gonna style this part right now. It's just kind of storage, but once we uh, get around to it, I'll style it. Um, and these are the famous stools. I, I made George drive 45 minutes for these stools because they are... I think they're beautiful and nice. um, there's a lot of antique stores that sell, sell these oak stools for like 100 to 200 pound a pop and I found these for 70 pounds each so really good and deal. And now they're back in stock. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and now they're back in stock. So we also have this bottle of bubbly from my friend Lauren which was a gift from our wedding which we were going to open but I think we'll mm. save the nice one for another day. And then Once we're a little one? bit more finished. I don't know. Um, the other ones are stored away right now, right. but cheers, cheers, cheers to a new a new apartment, and to mm. us. It's getting that. It's it getting is. It. Yeah. Look at how cute these are, guys. Oh. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Adorable. We're gonna enjoy the champagne. I'm gonna continue organizing. George is gonna continue building. And that's our day sorted. I'm gonna need a hand at this bit. Oh, I can help you. I'm coming right now. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We're checking back in because we just ordered Domino's. Yeah, today, our... today's not as productive as yesterday. No, We're and right. we had a few wobbles being first and foremost. Do you want to show them what happened? So... So they've used the wrong paint on the wall. It's supposed to be like wipeable paint, but there's a bit of a coffee splash. And if you try and rub it off, it rubs off the paint. Yeah, so we rubbed off part of our wall, which is, was great. So now we're gonna have to talk to the um, landlord about that. And then... Uh, put the wrong screw. We put in, the uh, wrong screws in the dresser, on. Which meant the screw rounded off. And it was just, yeah, managed to fix it, but used the right screws, so that's all good. But it is what it is. We're gonna have pizza and it chill is. and call it a day. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll go these first. Yeah. All right. The desk and wait. Shall we show you what we got? 
Shall we show you our pizza order? Ooh. Hawaiian for me. And George got some meat lover. No, I got American hot. Oh, American hot. Yum, yum, yum. All right, let's dig in while it's warm. Let's do it. All right. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's officially the weekend. We've made a bit of progress on the flat, which I will show you. George's mom is just pulled up to our apartment. She's gonna come up she is coming. We're gonna do some more shopping, some more furniture shopping today. It's like all we do on our weekends when we have free time. But we have a bit of a story to tell you about our sofa. We have so Sofa great. Gate, as George calls it, and we're gonna tell you more about it later today. But let's just say. It's been a struggle. I spent four hours on hold with Ikea yesterday. They basically delivered us our couch without the cushions and they don't know when or if the cushions will ever be back in stock. Slash, they won't refund us. She's here! Oh, hello! I'll show you the desk though, actually. So, George built the desk yesterday. Looks nice, but it's a little cluttered at the moment. But yeah. We're gonna go shopping and we will check back in later. And now we're gonna want to <laughs> So we are currently getting curtains up because we had and these it looks like home. stupid paper blinds on the wall and they didn't install blinds, did they? they? Did not. No. So bless my mum for helping. <laughs> and getting the creases out of the curtains but it's the best but yeah no having blinds is just huge um we got this little plant here in the corner just to get some ideas but we want a big like banana leaf type thing we're gonna have some should we tell them about sofa gate because i sofa gate. About sofa gate today but i didn't finish sofa gate. so as you know the ikea couch we ordered it like two months ago or a month ago back in june anyway and it's what august now yes and the only covers that came were for the lace, 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 lounge. lace la lounge bit, the L part, and not for the two seater. That's why we've got a blanket covering it. But the beige covers are out of stock literally everywhere. So, Hannah, this past week has been on the phone to IKEA for like an hour a day. Yeah. And basically, they don't have them in stock anywhere. So, the problem is, is that we like the couch, we like the wide arms because it makes the couch bigger, but do we go for a different color because we sort of like this sandy beige color? Mm -hmm. So we're calling it Sofa Gate yeah. because they're taking the absolute piss and trying to sort this problem out. No, but the nice thing is there's with these couches, there's companies online which actually sell the covers for it. So we found like two or three companies which we ordered uh, fabric samples from. Yeah, so they basically just make covers for IKEA couches with nicer fabric. Yeah, so, so it's a little bit more expensive, but IKEA is like refusing to send us temporary covers because their customers it's are It's an absolute horrible. joke, yeah. Um, so we're just thinking about getting um, temporary covers for now and we'll yeah. see what happens. Because, like we said, we, you know, we, we like the shape of the couch, it's nice, but, you know, you can't have a two-tone couch, can you? Yes. Basically, Ikea is just saying that they'll send us yeah. covers for the parts that's missing in a different color, which just doesn't work. Like, that's not... Yeah, that's it's not, it's not happening. So we're just going to um, talk to some of these companies who do the covers, and that's uh, going to be our solution, because we do really like the sofa itself. Um, hard to find a nice styled sofa. It took us a few months to find it in the first place. So yeah, that's a little bit about sofa gate. Won't go on to talk about it much longer. We're gonna stay positive and hope that things will turn out better. But I'm gonna flip this around to show you what's happening right now. Hold on. There you go. So we got blackout blinds. Starting to look like a little house. And then if you open them, what does it look like? A little bit. There we go. Oh, it looks really good. Yeah. I was a bit hesitant about curtains. Curtains, but it does yeah. look like it makes it look like a home. Yeah, no, it's better than the blinds in there. Yeah. Slowly it. coming together, guys. It's only been a week. <laughs> we'll get there. I can't wait to show you guys the rug. It's absolutely insane, isn't it, Wendy? Yep. Yep, yep, it's cool. Happy.
happy Sunday. Um, <laughs> just thought I would pick up the video here. Um, you guys would have seen us hanging up the curtains yesterday, which was great. But I did want to get on here to just do like a little life update chat. I just woke up. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. George and I were just sitting in bed with our coffees and we were just kind of talking about how I feel like the last two to three weeks have just been super flat out busy for us. We have been either planning or packing for the move. Last weekend was moving week. We moved a week ago today. Um, and then now just organizing. If I show you the state of this room, I'm going to just show you the camera. Anyone who's like me who has a bit of OCD, just hold your breath for a minute because I know, I understand. It's not great. Yeah. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got my desk built, so you're sitting there. But yeah, a little bit of like a reality kind of check update. So for those of you guys who probably know, if you've been following the vlogs and following our journey, you guys know that um, I moved to the UK in April permanently um, as a um, like as on a married visa. So George and I got married and I looked for work. So I was super, super lucky. I ended up finding a job that I'm actually really liking and it's been really great. One thing that I've loved about it is that, you know, I've worked before in corporate America in the past and I got to kind of start more mid-level in a role rather than just starting off. So I have a lot more responsibilities, which is great. But that said, it has been super busy. <laughs> the team that I'm on is a little bit small. Um, we manage a lot of good stuff, but it's literally me and my coworker. And so we had a really crazy week last week, which happened to be move week. And then she's going out of town for the next two weeks. So I'm literally taking on it all for the next two weeks. And I just feel like we, and same with George, he's had his, his job as well. And it's just been really busy for him. So it's been a crazy hectic time in our lives. It's been super exciting though, and I think it's really starting to feel like a home or flat and we're feeling a little bit more adjusted. The first few nights, George said that it felt like he was staying in an Airbnb, like not even our house, but now it's slowly starting to feel like a home. But a bit of reality check, as I was saying before, not only do we work full-time jobs outside of American and the Brit and like blogging and vlogging and photography, we also have Journey PR. And so we run a lot of different businesses. So usually I like to manage my time after I finish my work day, my nine to five or um, eight, nine to six job. Um, I will usually dedicate an hour or two after that to just work on anything American and the Brit related, whether that's writing a blog post or helping out with some of my clients on Journey PR stuff. But again, it's been crazy with the move. So I haven't had time. So it's Sunday today. I'm up at eight. I'm going to be editing a bunch of videos. So I have a client based out of New York and I'm doing a bunch of videos for her. So I'm just going to get those finished because I'm kind of late on my deadline with that. And I just want to finish those for her. So I'm going to get those done hopefully crank them out and then George and I actually have two brand shoots to do today which is not super exciting but we like we like shooting photography it is actually fun for us it's something we like to do but for most people it's probably not exciting so we're hoping to just get the content shot um, crank it out do a good job and then we are going to hopefully spend the latter half of today relaxing by relaxing, I mean just getting outside, going on a walk, getting some fresh air because we have been very much cooped up inside. So, um, if you can't tell by the state of this room, which I just showed you, it's absolutely crazy. I'm going to go show you George now. He's working today on sorting out like our council tax, our electricity and gas bills, all that insurance stuff, all flat related stuff he's going to be managing this morning. And then like I said, we're hoping to just be really productive and get our work done so we can actually chill. I was saying the other day, I don't know who invented weekends, okay, to be only two days, but that seems a little bit whack to me. I feel like weekends should be three day thing and we should work for four days out of the week instead of five. A work-life balance is needed and sometimes I just feel like it comes to Sunday and I'm like, I'm finally able to relax at the end of the day on Sunday and then I have to wake up the next day and go to work. So I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who feels like that, but maybe we should just change things, you know? I don't feel like it's, I feel like it's never too late to change. Anyways, I'm gonna go show you George and then I'm gonna edit these videos and we will check back in with you guys later today, hopefully when we can actually just go on a walk and get outside. Yeah. 
Good morning, how are you? Oh, he's the prince on his throne. <laughs> what are you getting done this morning? I just checked in with the vlog, gave him a little update. Uh, content insurance, got a phone, cancelled, cancelled text sorted out, mm. got to shoot content for the two companies, got to go to the store, got to get the car run. Then we're going to go for a walk. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe, baby. Anyways, the, goes, yeah. the curtains look good. We're really impressed with them. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan, guys. We can't wait to update you with this apartment once it's a little bit more furnished. I've been filling out this bit. I'm gonna try to style it a bit better. It's just filled with crap at the moment. <laughs> but... We need to try and... When does the bin come, by the way? I don't know, in a few days. Yeah, we had to order a trash can because we're using this at the moment. <laughs> this will be fun to look <laughs> back on I one time when we that. see our flat so empty in a vlog. It'll be like, wow, yeah, remember? Well, wants a, uh, Hannah wants a specific bin, so... Um, yeah, because it's going to go right here. It's going to be thin. has to be thing. kind yeah. of skinny. Um, Which makes sense. But yeah. On, so. so, yeah. I think we're going to look back at this vlogs, at these vlogs and just laugh at how empty and like makeshift our apartment was but um you guys we have a rug that goes probably out to like here it's quite big yeah. it's stunning and i'm refusing to put it down yet because i well, want we, well, we need to finish i want sofa gate to be handled yeah that needs to be done and once so the sofa gate is handled i can properly clean the floors and we can lay down our rug but the rug itself is just sitting in this little tube and let me tell you it's beautiful okay it's, <laughs> it's actually gonna, beautiful it's going to be a and then, oh, I want to show you guys these prints that my grandma kindly gave me. So my grandma, where I get my love from traveling is pretty much my family and my grandma. She loves to travel. And she has all these incredible black and white photographs of her trips um, in the past. Well, these were in the 30s, actually. But I don't think these are her physical photographs. She, like, just purchased them. But she gifted them to us. And we're going to hang these up. Um, and I think we're gonna make some sort of travel gallery wall. Sorry, autofocus. We're gonna make some sort of travel gallery wall on this wall here um, of photos from our travels, which I think will look really good. We like to share our travel memories. Anyways, we're both gonna be at our respective desks this morning in chaos, like I said. This is all gonna get organized at some point. <laughs> Um, but we got some work to do and then and it's funny as well because like even though it's the weekend when we're working like next week is just gonna be crazy busy like, I know I just told both them jobs you know? I just told them about what just that like we both have really busy weeks for their <laughs> with our works yeah. outside of this because you yeah, know I'm you're busy and then Sarah's going out of town so I'm by myself at work <laughs> it's just gonna be crazy I know we just gotta stick for it and mm. then we're a team, hon. We are. Well, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> oh. <my hat>, so. <laughs> We're a team. Because <laughs> look how good the curtains look. Yeah, no, I think every single day, like we've said, every single day we make a little bit of progress. And even though you might not be able to tell on the video, yes, there's a lot of crap still everywhere. Yeah. Think little things keep coming together like, and it keeps making us happier yeah. and happier. Because like when we do our plant shop, like we're going to, no, it's up top, yeah, like we want to add stuff up here. Yeah. Sort of break up that white and sort of straight lines. And we're going to put some floating shelves there and a mirror there. Yeah, because luckily these walls are actually really easy to drill into. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get a huge a mirror thing, here. Building or not, but so yeah, everything's going to come together. We just have to be patient. Coffee tables and everything. We have to sort of keep it on. Mm. I'm glad there's no more flat pack to build. Yeah, for now. Not for now. Yeah. For now. Keyword for now. Okay, we decided to take a little work break, make some breakfast burritos. So I scrambled up some eggs and bell peppers and onions. George is making some, what are you making? Mushrooms, and bacon, spinach. and sausage, and spinach. Yeah. And we're gonna make breakfast burritos. It's gonna be good. <laughs> trying to enjoy a Sunday bit. Yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna fold them up and we have these little wraps I will show you guys. We've switched over to... Yeah, well we've switched over to wheat wraps because we um, are trying to be a little healthier. So we have these whole wholemeal tortilla wraps. So we're just gonna wrap them, make a little breakfast burritos, 
and enjoy our morning before we finish our work because we were both getting really hungry, <laughs> weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, we had our omelets and we finished our work for today. We did our brand shoots actually quite quickly, which was actually nice. We always like it when we end up shooting content and it takes us not very long to get the shot, right? Yeah, no, it's always a bonus. <laughs> so we decided, I think it's, what time is it now? It's 2.30, so we're gonna go on a walk. We're gonna go to Black Park. Um, again, we love walking around Black Park and um, if you guys have watched um, a few of our vlogs you would have seen us walking there before but it's just a good chance for us to get outside and get some fresh air yeah, and head out best way to get there so yeah we're gonna head there now and then i think we might walk around town a bit it's actually sunny if you guys know it's been a miserable summer here in england it's been raining pretty much Every 70 percent yeah. of the time <laughs> like it's always cold it's really annoying um so yeah we're gonna go and go for a walk and get some fresh air and get our steps in because I don't think I've left the apartment in two days, so definitely needed. Yeah. How long does it say it'll take? Like 15 minutes, not too bad. Not bad. Right, we're gonna head there now. All right guys, made it. George is holding my coffee for me. <laughs> we got ourselves some coffees and yeah. we are walking. If you can't tell, it's really pretty actually. Green, we were just talking about how like in two or three months, it's gonna be uh, wintry cold. So, yeah, October, so enjoying October. the green nature. I'll flip you around. Enjoying the green nature while we have it, but just good to move our toes yeah. and have a little coffee to wake us up. Cause I can tell George is definitely wishing he was at home napping right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's right, I'll nap when I get back. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Cheers. We just ordered some Thai food from this local Thai spot that's like just down the block from us. We got Masaman curry, which is our favorite. Rice, pad thai, some dumplings, drunken noodles. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm excited. So excited. <laughs> it's going to be good. We're going to dig it. Good evening, guys. Checking in with a crazy mask. I'm just editing this vlog now and realizing that I don't have an outro and I'm just gonna be real with you all. I'm sitting and editing the vlog with a face mask on on the couch and you probably see some new updates from this vlog that haven't been shown yet. So I'm just gonna close out this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the moving vlog. The next few vlogs coming your way are going to be some travel vlogs and then an apartment update. So stay tuned for that. And we hope you guys liked the video. It was a long one. If you stuck around to the end, thank you for watching. And if you guys want to subscribe, please do and comment down below if you guys are excited to see some flat updates. Anyways, I'm gonna go wash this crazy mask off and sign off now. So see you later.